what we're gonna do today it's a furnace we're replacing all the furnace evaporator coals have to stay and the old furnace was higher than this one whether we have to build a piece from here to here whether we have to drop the coil and we decide to drop the coil because we have long enough line set that we can move this down the evaporator coil was uncased coil so it's sitting on a furnace and this piece we're gonna build a plenum, new plenum basically. It's raining outside, that's why we, we're not going to be able to pump down the system. And besides that, it's a scroll a nightmare. So we're going to just bend the line set. It's long enough, we have about five feet and it will sit on it. Another thing, because we're not going to be able to disconnect the line sets, and you, I have two holes here, which twice it's come out with the condensate, it's easy enough, you can remove it. With the line set, you cannot. So we're gonna cut a square piece here and keep this piece and then later screw this on uh, our new piece. And basically with something like, I don't know, maybe seven by seven, something like this. We're gonna cut that and keep that piece. And pretty much it. Coil is sitting there. We're gonna secure this and build the piece, then later screw this piece on it because, again, we cannot really pump down the system because it's raining. Match it now. We're gonna take a few measurements and start building it. The first measurement usually I'm doing is measuring my height, how high my uh, plenum should be. In this case, I have 32, also, I will need a Three eighths of an inch longer, take a flange down there, oh, three eighths, and this is a little bit hot, more than 32, so we're gonna make 32 and a half, 32 and a half, that's my height. My width of the coil is 20, and it is, it's bigger, 21 and a quarter, so our box will make that. 20 by 21 and a half because we have 21 and a quarter and we'll screw that in. In this case we're gonna build uh, this from two pieces exactly the way it was. We will have one piece in the front that will act as a door and we will make a U shape from one piece. Screw that in first then put the door locked. Go and start building it. Do we have all the sizes? 32 and a half high and 20 by 21 and a half. Okay, from a sheet metal, uh, because we have 32 and a half, that's my height gonna be, and this is 36 inch, and the top of that extra excess piece, and our box should be 20 by 21 and a half. 20, that's the front, so I'm gonna cut this first, then we'll go for the next steps. Okay, uh, what I'm going to 
little angulator in this part that will go up on a duck work and the bottom I will use for my flanges. So I have to cut small triangles, usually I do about quarter inch opening and one inch deep. shape from that side and the trick is to first drive into the sleeves then kind of lift that up and put the flanges on the side of the furnace okay, so I'm gonna go to other side for a drain line, connect the drain line and cut much smaller opening there that put this piece on top and screw it in then seal around and it will hold it but also later when we have the top cover you have to screw on this side and seal that side too so now the easiest and fastest way marking the hole is what I do from inside by putting it in place where it going to go. I can see from here and I'm marking the middle and the line there. And the next thing you have to do is mark the height. And this piece is gonna sit there so I'm marking there and again marking my center. You can drill a hole and it will be fine. And the last thing we have to mark is the line set where it's gonna be. Okay. It's not easy way of doing it because yeah. I said in our way. So over here. Here will be fine. There about here. The last thing you need to put slips here so that you will be able to grab your covering, which we need.
seal here, seal the slips, slip on the bottom, flatter her up. Thank you for watching.